Footage of rain falling in slow motion and landing in water, piercing short-lived holes in its surface. On screen text reads, who doesn't enjoy the smell of rain? The source of this scent may surprise you. A woman speaks to the camera from a museum hallway. On screen text reads, Anne Youngblut, museum scientist. The unique and familiar smell of rain is caused by raindrops hitting the dry ground. Footage of heavy rain falling onto dry soil. And releasing different natural compounds to the air. This scent is called petrichor. It is made of oils produced by plants in a molecule called geosmond. Three conical flasks with murky algae in water and cotton ball stoppers line up on a white laboratory workbench. Jasmine is a compound produced by certain bacteria and microscopic algae called cyanobacteria, the main reason behind the smell of rain. A still microscope image of a long, thin, pale green bacteria. A different still microscope image of connected, circular, pale amber bacteria follows. Another still microscope image of connected, rectangular, emerald green bacteria follows. Don't worry, it's not toxic to humans, but our noses are really, really sensitive to it, and we can smell it at a really tiny concentration when it's in the air. Footage of pedestrians with umbrellas walking through London in the rain. This explains why we're able to smell it everywhere when it rains, even if we're in the middle of the city with concrete pavement and without much open soil. A close-up photograph appears, showing a sample of green algae inside a conical flask. On the left-hand side, the credits are displayed on a narrow, semi-opaque black rectangle. Film Duncan Gregory, Science Anne Youngblood, Research Christina Toronte, Archive Shutterstock, Music Audio Network. On the right-hand side is the Natural History Museum logo, consisting of the words Natural History Museum, displayed in a column flanked by a large letter N on the left. Text at the bottom reads, Copyright owned by the trustees of the Natural History Museum London.